Well, I just arrived at PV Arboretum. It's Saturday, March 21st, and it's just after 2 p.m. I'm trying to decide which trail I want to hike today. Uh, it's going to be a choice between the Intensive Management Trail and the Woodland Trail. Uh, I thought I'd just share a couple of things with you. They've got a little information on black bear and cougar, but I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. I've been out here before. Uh, so, I think we're going to take the Woodland Trail first. So I'll catch up with you in a minute. Well, we're going to head to the Woodlands Trail. And uh, again, it's really a nice day. It's not uh, cold. It's not cold and it's not hot. I put on this uh, kind of windbreaker rain gear just in case we get a shower. It's been threatening that all day. So here we go. We're going to start heading to the Woodland Trail. PV Arboretum. See you later. This is uh, really just a small trail, so we're going to wind up going on a couple. This is a loop, and uh, it's uh, pretty easy, actually. So uh, I'm going to be talking about a couple of uh, things while we're out here. Well, one of the items I wanted to talk about while I'm out here hiking uh, are my hiking boots. Uh, these are Georgia Giant. And uh, I got them at Christmas, and uh, this is kind of a milestone today because while I'm out here, I have just passed my 250th mile hiking, walking, since I received these boots as a Christmas gift. So uh, today, March 21st, uh, that's a pretty fair uh, accomplishment, I think, and uh, actually I'm going to be taking some pictures of the... Uh, boots and uh, they, they're, the tops are in great shape uh, as they ought to be I think. Uh, the heels are beginning to wear so uh, we'll see just how tough these boots are and they are supposed to be uh, top of the line. So anyway we're on the Woodland Trail and uh, it's uh, kind of an easy walk not a big deal. I'll see you in a little bit. We're uh Getting down the trail, it's uh, fairly uncomplicated, fairly easy, and uh, I'll just pan to the left a little bit. Uh, not much of an incline. Well, to catch up on uh, some of my reading, I've got three books going concurrently. Uh, I've been reading the memoirs of U.S. Grant, uh, our 18th president and Civil War general. And that's been uh, great, great. Uh, he's quite a guy, or was quite a guy. Uh, I'm also reading a uh, book on Churchill, Roosevelt, and Stalin. Uh, that's a little drier, uh, historical, of course, and you've got to have that kind of uh, desire uh, if you uh, read it. And the third book is kind of a, a puff, puff piece, I think, puff book. It's on Joe DiMaggio. And uh, if you're up in my age bracket, uh, uh, you'll like it, and possibly if you're not, you'll like it as well. But uh, it's uh, quite a tell-all book. So uh, that's kind of it, and I'll throw in a few other quips on that in a little bit. And by the way, that's where we just came from. A little bit of an incline, but no big deal. And now we're coming up on a little bench and some uh, huge... Doug Furs. They're a tall drink of water. And uh, a few nights ago, uh, I attended a uh, unveiling of a brand launch uh, of the new logo for Visit Corvallis and for the city of Corvallis. It was up at the View in downtown Corvallis, and I'll in, uh, insert a couple of pictures there. The idea is to uh, obviously enhance tourism and uh, bring some of that uh, revenue to Corvallis and to the restaurants and uh, hotels, motels, etc. You probably will not be able to really read that. I don't know. We'll try. 
and focus on it. But it's a little sign uh, on a post about a chin-up bar here that was uh, installed during the CCC days back in the 30s, the Civilian Conservation Corps. So apparently they did uh, a little exercising while they were out here in the woods. Uh, they were out here about 80 years ago. There is the bar. Let me focus on that. There is the bar set between the two trees. And uh, they have, I don't think they're the original ones from 80 years ago, frankly. They could be, but anyway, the idea is probably correct. And uh, for the record, these are the Georgia Giant boots I keep referring to. And uh, as we go along, uh, frankly, they've been quite good. Uh, and uh, I'll show you some of the, the wear process that's uh, happened over the last several months uh, of 250 plus miles hiking. just finished uh, the warm-up on the Woodland Trail and now I'm on the Intensive Management Trail. Uh, that Woodland Trail is probably great for a beginner or a person who hasn't hiked in a long time or perhaps someone who has uh, an issue with uh, um, walking. Uh, it's real easy and uh, a great place to begin. So now we're going up the Intensive Management Trail. Uh, in fact, I'm seeing a sign this trail is open to hikers only right now, uh, meaning no uh, bikes and no uh, horses. Uh, and I want to continue a little bit about some of the things going on in Corvallis. Uh, there's a lot going on with some of the issues with student growth uh, at Oregon State University. And one of the big issues now is another student housing uh, development proposed called the hub in the Timberhill area. There's a big meeting on April 1st, uh, 2015, uh, which I'm sure will be well attended with lots of folks that uh, have a lot of issues uh, with that uh, project. Uh, this has been ongoing for several years now with the uh, large increase in students at Oregon State. I just came across someone uh, jogging a little bit. Uh, it is a beautiful day. In fact, uh, it's getting quite warm with this uh, little windbreaker on. But anyway, uh, this intensive management trail is uh, not not one that I'd call very difficult either. Uh, so there are a couple of great opportunities out here at PV Arboretum for anyone uh, who's been sedentary, uh, wants to get back into some physical exercise. Uh, these trails will do it. And you don't need to walk all of them, or several as I'm doing. Just pick one and get, a, get going on it. Uh, fairly flat actually. Uh, sunlight's peeking through. I see blue sky up there. I think we're going to have us a really nice day. Uh, first full day of spring today, by the way, March 21st. Uh, I bet the folks back uh, east, New England, etc., mid-Atlantic, uh, would like to feel a nice first day of spring after that snow they had yesterday. Uh, now actually I'm turning the curve here a little bit and we got a slight incline but uh, all in all this is really uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 I'd make probably rate it a 2 and that woodland trail I'd probably rate a 1. So they're on the easy end of the uh, spectrum. Well I just uh, passed the 2 mile mark. This is not going to be one of those long hikes. Uh, probably keep it maybe another two miles. I actually want to uh, work on my garden this afternoon, get some planting done. I'll hopefully insert a little uh, footage of that as well. I'm going to pan around a little bit out here on the intensive management trail and give you a sense of that uh, nice clearing up in the sky. The sun is getting bright. Some clouds, a slight breeze, but uh, man, all in all, a wonderful March 21st. 
Well, this is quite beautiful in here. Uh, the sunlight flickering through the trees under the canopy, forest canopy. Just gorgeous. And we're coming up to a uh, little uh, quote fork in the road and a sign. So I'll try to share some information. We're coming across the Callaway Creek Trail right there. So we'll probably do a little bit of that. Callaway Creek Trail goes to the right. The intensive management trail goes to the left. So I'll make a decision here. And uh, here's a little map for you. I decided to go right on the Callaway Creek Trail. So this way we'll get a flavor of all the, or not all, but some of the trails in the PV Arboretum. And the Callaway Creek Trail is, uh, again, one of those trails that is uh, great for hiking. Not any big deal, as are the others. Uh, uh, some of the tougher trails, if you really want to challenge yourself, uh, go up to the Cascades and hike Middle Pyramid. I, I did that last summer, and I'll try to insert some footage from that. That was uh, a lot of fun and a challenge, and boy, it was a warm day. Uh, can't be certain, but uh, this particular tree that's down looks uh, fairly fresh from looking at the root ball. That dirt looks uh, like it hasn't been exposed to air for a long, long time. And uh, it's kind of lying right across the trail. So uh, I'm not sure why that's down. We had a few winds the other day. I don't know, perhaps it had something to do with that. Little detour here over this uh, down tree. Uh, now we're back on the trail. Well, it's clouded up a little bit again. Just that kind of spring day, I suppose, but it's certainly not cold, it's warm. Uh, it was 60 earlier. I don't really know what the temperature is here in the forest, but downtown Corvallis, it was 60 earlier as we work our way back. We're probably gonna conclude this soon. We're in our fourth mile now. And uh, since I walked downtown already this morning and back uh, at the conclusion of today, after finishing my garden chores, I think I'm going to have me a, a cold one. I think it's going to be well deserved today. Well, some downhill is always appreciated. Uh, one point I should emphasize, uh, people are very serious about the term leave no trace, basically keeping the forest safe, clean, and enjoyable for everyone, so don't make it a mess and make it as though you were never there. Good idea. Just arrived back in the parking lot. There are actually about uh, seven or eight cars here. Quite frankly, I'm surprised they're not more. Uh, it's just a gorgeous day to hike. Saturday, March 21st. We're going to kind of wrap it up now. I uh, did just over four miles as I uh, planned for a change. It kind of worked out the way I planned. And uh, please, uh, if you enjoy these videos and how I work on them, if you have any ideas or suggestions, please let me know. I try to incorporate different things, uh, talk about things I'm doing, talk about some of the local issues in town. Uh, so if you like them, please subscribe. Hit the like button and leave a comment. That would be wonderful as well. See you next time. Bye. This is Corvallis Tidbits. If you like us, subscribe to us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.